Joining me now, Red Eyes Tom Shalou and Andy Levy. Good to have you both here. Let's, let's start with the, 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 the Trump fan who had his big T in his yard burned down. He came back bigger and better than ever. What do you make of it, Andy? I think that's an excellent metaphor, Lou. I'm just not sure for what. I'm, I'm sure you have the answer to that. Uh, uh, what percentage chance do you give that the dude burned down the T himself? What? I, that's so cynical. Oh. No. I, I expected no. better. To be really you, honest really? with you, I really... I'm just asking questions, Lou. You just... I mean, what kind of, what kind of cynicism is that? I mean, it's just... It, it's a... The what, what do you make of it? He, um, I mean, the guy's obviously a fan of Trump. Sure. You know, he, they, they, they took it down foot. and he built it again. Just... And, you know, every time uh, somebody <laughs> threatens Trump, he, he makes the wall higher. Mm -hmm. There you so go. So this guy made it bigger and better. And you've got to admire that. I know you do especially. I do. I, anything my new sidekick Tom Shalou says yeah. is fine with me. <laughs> well, the Sanders Lake House, we've got to go to this. 600 grand for a third house. You've got to admire, Tom, that kind of socialist. I mean, really. I mean, he's embracing something that you would have thought would have been alien to him. Well, no, it's not out of the ordinary. All great socialists have a third house. Uh -huh. Stalin had one. Uh -huh. John Lott, I believe, had a third house. Uh, Russell Brand, they all have three houses. <laughs> socialists, that's pretty much the definition of a socialist. I believe in the old days we called them dachas. Uh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's exactly what a dacha was. The, the, Soviet, the high, higher ups at the Soviet unions would have a nice little house on the lake. Well, in that case, he's flowing with the, Absolutely. the historical uh, imperatives there. Uh, candy, I don't know if I should say this. Candy, well, I'm going to. Candy asked co stars of rock is making Hollywood uh, just quiver uh, as he attacks some of his co-stars. And apparently, and, I, and I'm treading a little in your territory, so forgive me if you would, gentlemen, <laughs> but I understand this was a reference to Vin Diesel. And I want to make it clear to Vin Diesel, this was rock I'm quoting. It is not me saying this in any way. Yeah, I am a huge Fast and Furious fan. It's, I mean, obviously the greatest movie franchise in the history of Hollywood. I have not slept since Well, best written, since certainly. Out. Uh, best everything, best written, best directed, best acted. It's just, you, you, you can't touch it. Uh, other people will say Godfather. No, if you want a movie about family, you're looking at Fast and Furious. I, I, I literally, I have not slept since, since this story came out. This, uh, family squabbles are not supposed to be made public. You keep it inside the family and, and you work out your difficulties. Is that really the, the entertainment way? I, I, it is. I, these guys have been, I mean, there's, these Hollywood guys are jealous of each other. And obviously, The Rock is in, intimidated by Vin Diesel, you know, who at one time, I guess, was, you know, I think Vin Diesel is a, isn't Vin Diesel a bigger star than The Rock, Andy? No, I don't think I would say that. If you count up the money. I don't think I would say that. Not these days. Oh, okay. Well, see, you can see the kind of, the kind of friction that these guys have. <laughs> and, I, and I don't want it to spill over into hostility between <laughs> two, you know, uh, two colleagues and friends uh, like you guys. Well, I, colleagues. I, I, I'm, I'm one... <laughs> Better defined. <laughs> but why don't they settle it like, well, not what they describe, sure. you know, what The Rock described yeah. as uh, Ben Diesel's? Why not just fight it out, man? To man? Well, the other thing is, I don't understand why, why Dwayne, I call The Rock Dwayne because mm -hmm. we're close. Um, I don't understand why he did this with a week. There was still a week left in filming when he did this. Wait, wait, Whoa. wait till you're done. Ooh. Yeah. Dangerous. Yeah. But he did show good grace. He liked all of the women uh, co stars. Yes. Yeah, he did. Don't let these, I mean, these action stars, don't let them have Facebook. It's just, it's not right. It's, it's sort of selling the whole process that is otherwise so high level and, uh, <laughs> and creative. Andy Levy and Tom Shalhoub, folks, thank you very much. Thanks, I appreciate it. I still call him Mr. Rock.